Well, Will, what a game. You were 38 points up going into the last quarter and Saints got back within four points. You were a bit nervous there towards the end? Yeah, towards the end we thought um, you know, Saints were making a late charge and sort of you know, had us on our back foot and um, you know, Saints is a quality side and they're always going to put up a fight until the final siren. So, yeah, um, congrats to them on giving us a run for our money. You must be pleased to get the win though. Yeah, the boys are wrapped, especially in the heat. Uh, you know, nobody likes to play in that sort of heat, but um, I think, um, you know, coming away with the win, especially a close one, it was, um, yeah, well rewarding for the boys. You did set the win up in the third quarter. You held Saints goalless. What was Shannon Ruska's message at halftime? Um, he just said to make little goals, come out and um, try and set the tone by uh, limiting their, you know, goal goals and uh, possession down back. And I think the back line held up pretty well with... Um, the ball and uh, cutting it off and getting it out and that sort of stuff. So. You were pretty busy up in the forward line, but I thought Ed Barlow was outstanding. He would have had 35-odd possessions. How did you see his game? Oh, look, Barlow's always going to rack up 30 to 40 possession. He's just a 30 40 possession player. So um, good to have him back in the side. He really you know, takes the pressure off us other forwards and um, spotlights on him. <laughs> Who else did you see in the best for Crocs today? Um, oh, I reckon Tommy Holman had a um, you know, solid game down back. Um, Rory O'Brien coming back, he's got that class, you know, so it's good to have him back in the side and Dylan Barry as well with that flair and um, excitement. And Shannon Rusker held you out on the field for five minutes as a group after the game. What did he have to say? Um, look, Rusker's, Rusker is always going to um, be pleased with whatever effort we give, but um, I think he was, he was a bit nervous as well, but um, he congratulated us on um, a tough win and just sort of said that, you know, we've got to be better um, if, we're gonna, if we were to face the top sides and, yeah. Well, it's Indigenous round next weekend uh, in the NTFL. Are you looking forward to that and running out in a special Guernsey? Yeah, I think, um, you know, Indigenous round, it means a lot, especially up in NT, NTFL. You know, most of the players are Indigenous, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to mean a lot um, all across the NTFL on that special weekend. So I, I think everyone's going to be looking forward to it. Yeah, for sure. Well, thanks for talking to us and enjoy the win with the team. No worries. Thanks, Liz.